Chapter 5 Solid Element Operations Creating Objects and Terrain In this chapter we will continue the design development, place additional objects such as railing, ramps, and furniture, and create the terrain as well. We will also become familiar with solid element operations and present how to benefit from these in everyday work. Step 1. Solid Element Operations In this step, we will cut holes into slabs across multiple stories for the staircases. We will get familiar with ARCHICAD's solid element operation functionality and find out how to benefit from this in everyday work. Select the first preset view in the Solid Element Operations folder in the Navigator view map. Switch to the Marquee tool in the toolbox. Select the All Floors Marquee Selection method in the info box. Draw a rectangular selection area by clicking at Label 1 and Label 2. Activate the second view map entry from the navigator to display the marquee selection in the 3D window. The perspective view presents a section through the staircase. Zoom in and notice that the area of the staircase is not cut out of the slabs. We will create holes in the slabs across all stories in one single operation using solid element operations. The advantage of this method is that all future modifications will be carried through automatically only one element, the operator body, needs to be modified. Activate the next preset view from the view map. We will now create the staircase shaft body using the slab tool. Switch to the slab tool in the toolbox. Activate the SEO body 1 entry in the favorites palette. Please remember that SEO stands for solid element operation. Switch to the polygonal slab geometry method in the info box. Create the first SEO body by clicking consecutively on the points of labels 1.1 to 1.11. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Switch to the Rectangular Slab Geometry method in the Info box. Create the second SEO body by clicking on the points of labels 1.1 and 1.2 to define the diagonal of the slab rectangle. Select the View, Elements in 3D, Filter Elements in 3D menu command. Here, you can control the building elements to be displayed in the 3D window. In the Element Types to Show in 3D list, click the Wall item to select it. Press the Shift key and keep it held down and click the Curtain Wall item. This will select all items on the list from Wall to Curtain Wall. Now press the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Macintosh while clicking the Slab item in the list. This will deselect the slab while keeping the other items selected. Now, click one of the check marks of any selected item to switch off the 3D display of all of these selected elements. Only the slabs will appear in the 3D window. Click the OK button to accept changes and leave the dialog. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Select the All Story Marquee Selection method. Draw a rectangular marquee defined by the points of label 1.1 and label 1.2. Activate the next preset view from the navigator. Now only slabs plus the two SEO bodies that we defined are visible in the 3D window. As you can see, the SEO bodies are shown in the wireframe. Select the Document Layers Layer Settings menu command to go to the Layer Settings dialog. In the list on the right, scroll down until you see the layer called XSEOS. The icons to the left of each layer name allow you to control the visibility of the layers or lock them if necessary. You can also define their 3D display mode using the wireframe icon. 
Notice that the XSEOS layer is set to wireframe because we only want to see the cutting result obtained by the elements placed on it. Click Cancel to leave the dialog. Select the Design Solid Element Operations menu command to bring up the Solid Element Operations palette. A solid element operation always requires at least one operator and one target element. The target is the one on which various operations can be performed by the operator. Select by shift clicking the four horizontal slabs in the 3D window. Click the Get Target Elements button in the Solid Element Operations palette. The text indicates that there are four target elements now ready for SEO operations. Click the Escape button once to deselect these slabs and then shift click the hotspots of the two wireframe slabs to select them. Click the Get Operator Elements button in the Solid Element Operations palette. The text indicates that there are two operator elements to perform SEO operations. Select Subtraction in the Choose Operation drop-down list. Click the Execute button to execute the operation with the target elements on the stored operator elements. Holes are cut into the slabs for the staircases across multiple stories with one single operation. The best part is that SEO are associative. This practically means that all SEO relationships are maintained and automatically updated if the target or the operator elements are modified. Close the Solid Element Operations palette and then right click on an empty area and select Go To Floor Plan option from the context menu. Press Escape once to remove the marquee or select the Remove Marquee option from the context menu. Activate the first preset view again from the Navigator view map. We started this exercise with this floor plan view. Create a rectangular marquee again as called for by Label 1 and 2. Activate the second preset view from the view map to open the 3D window. As you can see, the staircase shaft is now correctly cut out of the bodies of the slab it intersects.